Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video was filmed over Memorial Day weekend. We had a couple of projects that we wanted to do. Um, the biggest one was a clean out of the garage. Um, just kind of dust under shelves, um, organize stuff a little bit, throw things away, get stuff together for the garage sale. Um, so I forgot to film the beginning and kind of what the garage looked like. So forgive me on that part, but I did start uh, before we got too far in. So I hope you enjoy. We started this project by taking everything off the shelves, moving the shelves, cleaning underneath the shelves, and then we kind of laid everything on the floor in like categories. And so that made it a little bit easier whenever we were putting stuff back on the shelves and like sorting through stuff that we don't need. Um, but yeah, we put everything back on by category. So that's kind of what Kurt's doing here now. A future project in the garage is I would love to get some closed door cabinets in here, probably three to four of them. That way this is all hidden and you wouldn't have to see it. It also kind of blows around in the wind when the garage doors are open. So this would just keep it a little cleaner, a little more tidy, and I think it would make it look really, really good. I knew we were doing this project today, but I really wasn't too prepared as far as, you know, hanging the stuff up on the walls um, to get it off of the floor. So we were kind of just using stuff that we found in the garage um, to hang up like chairs and just to make stuff a little more vertical, get it off the floor, get it out of the corners of the room. Um, so next time I would like to prepare and have things bought already to make the organization a little bit easier.
So I saw this recipe on TikTok and asked Kurt if he could make it. And we decided to do it this weekend. Um, it's basically like a dill pickle, bacon wrap cheeseburger. Um, and it turned out really good. I do have a couple of things that we did would do differently if we made it again. And I'll let you know what those things are as the video goes on. Anytime you're making a new recipe, there's always trial and error. So he started off using a knife to take out the middle of the pickle, but he decided that a spoon would be a little bit easier to kind of scoop it out, and it definitely was. So if you make this recipe, use a spoon to take out the middle. So he ended up cutting 10 pickles apart and we had browned about two pounds of hamburger meat and we found out that that was way too much hamburger meat. So we probably could have gotten away with a pound, maybe even less. So one of the changes we would make to this recipe is using a different kind of cheese. Instead of the shredded cheese, we would probably use like a block cheese or American cheese or something. Um, once these were smoked and we tasted them, you really couldn't tell that there was cheese in them. And so we would probably use a little bit different cheese next time. After he got the pickles on the smoker, we decided to go back out to the garage and finish the other half, which was didn't take very long. It was basically just organizing, throwing a few things away, sweeping. So then we were able to finish the garage before dinner.
There was about 30 minutes left before the pickles were gonna be ready, so that's when he decided to put the barbecue sauce on and smoke them for another 30, 20 to 30 minutes. So these were split between five adults and let me tell you we ate every single one of them and probably could have had more. We spent the rest of Memorial Day weekend outside, hanging out with family at the pool. We even had a water balloon fight, which is at the end. So thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you come back for the next one. Bye. Callie. She bites him. She bites a little hole in him.